Hey, thanks. Uh, congratulations on the win, guys. Uh, obviously, you guys were kind of un under the gun in the second half uh, from Dallas after uh, they scored the goal. But as opposed to uh, when you guys had the uh, draw in Seattle, they, you guys seem to be able to, to uh, you know, uh, see out the game. So what, from your perspective, was the difference between the game and Dallas where they scored late and this one where you're able to hold on? Yeah, I think, you know, playing on the road, three-game week, in Texas, I mean, there's a lot of factors that make these games particularly difficult and probably the games that end up being the ugliest, you know, that was kind of a message that Schmetz relayed to us before the game that, you know, it might not be the prettiest game that we played tonight, but to make sure that the grit is there and the fight is there, and, um, you know, you hope that you can, guys up top can win it, you know, with their quality and that's what happened tonight. All righty, we'll stay uh, with Sounder Hart. Jeremiah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, Spencer, obviously something about Texas that seems to, to sit well with you these days. Um, what, was, what was the messaging to you in terms of uh, starting this week off? And, and, you know, when you go into these games where you have a rotated lineup, what, you know, does that change the messaging that, that Brian's giving you guys? You know, I think that, guys know that um you know in three game weeks you're gonna need you know it's a it's a long grueling season mls is and especially this year with it seems like we've gone one game in 10 days and then we've played five games in two weeks and um you know guys that have been in the league like you know Kel and myself you know you need deep rosters and you need guys that can step in and play so um you know i've been communicating a little bit with the staff and they gave me a, a heads up um you know a few days back that i was going to play the midweek game so um but you know whether you get a little bit of a heads up or not you know you, you got to be ready for your opportunity and um you know that's how guys have long lasting careers so um i just try to have that mindset you know when i'm not getting as many chances that you know when i do get one um you know i'm prepared for it and, and uh, you know fortunately you've been able to get two results out of those games Jada Evans, Seattle Times. Thanks. Uh, the questions for Kellen. Um, one of the easy, ex I guess, excuses would be that, you know, uh, Raul, fresh leg, steps on the field um, and able to score. Uh, you know, do you think that you guys had bored Dallas down a lot? Or what was your kind of feeling, I guess, on him being able to score so quickly after stepping on the field? Well, he's a quality player. Um, you, you give him a few chances, and he's gonna he's gonna at least score one. Uh, you saw him do it as well in Austin, score an absolute worldly. But um, he's he's a player that when he comes on the field, he's gonna make things happen. And uh, you put him and Nico in a position to to create something. They're going to, and, and it happened out to be a goal. It was great for us, and great to see him uh, continue his goal scoring prowess because we need that going forward. Uh, and, and both of them, especially uh, everyone that came in as a sub, worked really hard to to make sure we saw that game out. That's a big. It's a big win for us, I think, uh, and we're going to see that go longer in the season. Uh, we're going to look back at this game and thought, wow, we can still grind out a win. We're good to go. Felipe uh, this question, This question is for both of you. Um, you have heard about the philosophy of the, the uh, coach, Brian Smetzer, which is the next man up. Have you, have you guys understood uh, what this uh, philosophy means for you? Yeah, I mean, you step up when, you're, when your name is called, even if it's last minute. Um, if you come in as a sub, if you play a full 90, uh, you do your job and you do it to the best of your ability. And I think everyone that stepped on the field today and everyone that stepped on the field this year has, has done so. Uh, and you see that within the whole group. All right, guys. Uh, reminder media, if you'd like to ask a question, please, please use the hand raise function. Uh, we'll go back for some follow ups. Jeremiah, go ahead. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm sure the you guys were buzzing in a totally different way after that 6 2 win, but I don't know, in, in a, a win like this where you kind of grind it out, does that sometimes even do more for the, for the team's confidence and, and sort of, you know, all the way down the roster? For sure. I think, you know, if you want to be a championship team, you got to have different ways to win games. And, you know, tonight, you know, with a bit of quality, but we probably won this game more through, you know, the grit and the fight and the work rate. And I mean, how many last second blocks from, you know, Shane and Brad and, um, you know, you got to have different ways to win games. And I think, um, you know, they're equally great. They're, they're great in different ways, um, you know, but these ones tonight where you really got to dig in and, you know, defend and deal with the, 
the, you know, the weather and all, all that nonsense, um, you know, those are almost more, more satisfying, but you got to be able to win games different ways. If you know, you want to have a long run in the postseason. Uh, it looks like we got one more hand up. So uh, I'll do a last call for any other questions, but if not, uh, Jada might close us out. Jada, go ahead. Thanks. Uh, Spencer, you mentioned the uh, weather just to, I'm not there. So just to kind of uh, relate, I mean, how, how hot or how do you kind of describe that versus some of uh, maybe even Austin that you were playing? In? And I was, I was breathing out of my warm up. So I'm going to be honest. So I, <laughs> like, I mean, I, I assumed that these guys were struggling, you know, once, once the game got going, it felt a lot better, but it felt to me uh, much more humid than Austin. And we had a, no unfortunate travel day yesterday with delays and so you know there was a lot of I guess you know factors that could have affected guys but you know guys got on with it and you know when the ref blew the whistle the mindset was there and um you know we got out here with three points Mickey Turner Sounder at heart close us out <laughs> just for uh Kellen uh obviously you've uh played uh a bunch of places over the field I'm just curious uh you know the right wing back is is kind of an unusual position for you just kind of your thoughts on the position uh playing it and uh and how you think you did well you know I've played a few times and, and I actually came in as, as a right wing back as well um but with injuries and different positions and uh kind of opening up I've, I've, sl I've slid into different things uh throughout the year uh, you know, I thought I did fine. Uh, I got a lot of help from Shane. I made Shane do a lot of running. Uh, I made Javi do a lot of running and, and they saved me a, a few times when, when I wasn't tracking back as far or, uh, we did lose the ball in, in tough spots. So, uh, credit to those guys for backing me up, but you know, it's like, like we said it this whole year, it's next guy up mentality. So I was the next guy up at that Ryan Wheaton back position and we got the win.